Something new is happening in communication. Something that will bring us closer together. In fact, face to face. It's called picture phone service. In the 1970s, picture phone service will be used mainly by business firms. We got a little problem. Those two 12s are, just aren't moving. What's at the bottom of it? Price. Just price? Yes, the product's great. I could sell a whole trunk full of them if we could meet the competition on price. Why don't we have Cal Simpson in on this problem? He'll figure something out. How long will it take? Oh, two or three days. All right, this is Monday. How about Wednesday? Wednesday, uh, fine. Let's set up the call for 3 p.m. 3 it is. Good morning, Mr. Wells. Nice to see you, Cal. I guess Ben filled you in on the problem. He did, and I think I've got an answer for you. It's a bearing plate made of aluminum. It's machine cut with a lot of expensive handwork. And there are five of them on the 212. And that adds up to a pretty piece of change. What do we do, Cal? We make it out of injection molded plastic. Here. I brought one that you can see. Will it hold up as well as the aluminum? Yes, certainly. Well, then let's get moving. Oh, it'll cost a few extra bucks at first. Yes, but it'll be worth the saving in the long run. All right. When you get set, get back to me. I will, George. Cal? Yes, sir. Just want to thank you for following through on this. Anytime, Mr. Wells. Bye. So long. You know, the key to this thing is the personnel. How soon do you think we'll be able to roll? By the end of the month. Let's run a check and see what's available. Businessmen can solve problems right at their desks because picture phone sets can display data retrieved from a computer. Sales charts. Manpower schedules. Wage information. Stock market reports. Weather information. The idea of visual telephone communications goes back many years. In 1927, Secretary of Commerce Herbert Hoover spoke in Washington, D.C., and at the same time was heard and seen in New York. Bell Laboratories had introduced long-distance television transmission, already dreaming of a telephone that will let people see each other as they talk. By the late 1940s, TV becomes a part of American life. But it's still a one-way medium. You can look and listen, but you can't talk back. In the 1950s, technology catches up with the dream. The transistor had been invented by Bell Labs. More reliable camera and picture tubes are available. And there are new advances in telephone switching and transmission. A two-way video telephone system now seems feasible. Early models are primitive. By 1956, the first successful experimental picture phone system is shown to the public. At last, a commercial video telephone that can be integrated into the telephone network is possible. There is further research and development. And then, at the New York World's Fair in 1964, the picture phone system is introduced. Soon after, the first commercial picture phone service is provided between special centers in three major cities. Improvements are made, including a super sensitive camera tube developed by Bell Labs that can transmit pictures from an almost dark room. And now picture phone service is ready to meet the challenge of customer needs. No, no, darling. The trouble with her is that she's a little too short and fat. But I think this is right for her. Like it? Yes, yes, I do, oh. Kelly. Oh, you have that look on your face. Could I see it a bit closer? Okay, here. The ribbon. Could it be moved? Uh, like so. Like so, exactly. You sure? Positive. <laughs> okay. I'll have it shipped air freight today. By the way, how is our goddess? Oh, she's screaming about George. Her husband? No. The director. Is this the man, Mr. Jenkins? I'm not sure. Can I see him from the side, please? Turn around, please. Nope, that's not him. Eventually, in the years to come, picture phone service will begin to appear in the home. Mm -hmm. Read it three times this morning. It looks so easy. Yeah, I told you. Except I'm making a few changes. Like what? Like I'm putting blueberries in. Strawberries. 
Hmm? The recipe said strawberries. I hate strawberries. Oh, Betty. And so does Arthur. He breaks out. It won't work. Well, a berry's a berry. What's the drama? It won't work. Maybe. We'll see. Grandpa, it's like you're right here. You too, darling. I can almost touch you. You're right in the room. Here, let me make the picture larger. Grandpa, when are you coming to see us? Soon, darling. Of course, with picture phone sets, you don't have to be seen until you want to. Ellie, I can't see you. In a minute. For heaven's sake. Yes, darling. Vanity, my name... My name is Woman. I'm doing it differently now. Hey, that's nice. I'll pick you up at 6.30. Nancy, look, I'm sorry. Oh, sure. I am. Honest, I'm sorry. But I got hung up. There were millions of cars, and you should have seen the traffic. I mean, there were millions of cars, Nancy. Why didn't you phone? And leave the car there, just sitting there in the middle of the freeway? With all those millions and billions of cars, I know. Will you listen to me, Don, baby? I didn't have any good time sitting here waiting for you all night, either. I know. And so I'm sorry. I apologize from the deep... The depths, Dum Dum. Depths of my heart. You might say that I'm devastated. Hey, wow. No kidding. Devastated? Completely. Don, that's nice. You like that, huh? What girl wouldn't? For you, Nancy, honey. Devastation. <laughs> right. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Okay. And Don? Yeah. You're sweet. That's because I love you, Nancy. Actually, I'm a louse. I love you, too. Hurry over. Okay. Oh, and Don. Yeah? Stay off the freeway. Mm -hmm.